Let us pray the angelus. Let us stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Or for to beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection, through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Please kneel for the prayer before Mass. Almighty and ever-living God, I approach the sacrament of your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. I come seek to the doctor of life, unclean to the fountain of mercy, blind to the regions of eternal light, and for needy to the Lord of heaven and earth. Lord, in your great generosity, heal my sickness, wash away my defilement, enlighten my blindness, enrich my poverty, and close my nakedness. May I receive the bread of angels, the King of kings, and the Lord of lords, with humble reverence, with the purity and faith, the repentance and love, and determined purpose that will help to bring me to salvation. May I receive the sacrament of the Lord's body and blood in its reality and power. Kind God, may I receive the body of your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, born from the womb of the Virgin Mary, and so be received into his mystical body and numbered among his members. Loving Father, as on my earthly pilgrimage, I now receive your beloved Son under the veil of his sacrament. May I one day see him face to face in glory, who lives and reigns with you forever. Amen. Let's just stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear sisters and brothers, as we celebrate this Mass, Jesus reminds us again to be truthful in our hearts, but most especially in everything that we do and in everything that we say. Now, in silence, let us pray for our personal intentions. We pray for all those who ask for our prayers and for the intentions of this holy mass.
ng mga Jewish sisters and brothers let us also acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. All together we say, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. Be Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Keep your family safe, O Lord, with unfailing care, that relying solely on the hope of heavenly grace, they may be defended always by your protection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first book of Kings. The queen of Sheba, having heard of Solomon's fame, came to test him with subtle questions. She arrived in Jerusalem with a very numerous retinue and with camels bearing spices, a large amount of gold and precious stones. She came to Solomon and questioned him on every subject in which she was interested. King Solomon explained everything she asked about, and there remained nothing hidden from him that he could not explain to her. When the Queen of Sheba witnessed Solomon's great wisdom, the palace he had built, the food at his table, the setting of his ministers, the attendance and carp of his waiters, his banquet service, and the burnt offerings he offered in the temple of the Lord. She was breath breathless. The report I heard in my country about my, your deeds and your wisdom is true, she told the king. Though I did not believe the report, until I came and saw with my own eyes. I have discovered that they were not telling me the half. Your wisdom and prosperity surpassed the report I heard. Blessed are, your blessed are your men, blessed these servants of yours, who stand before you always and listen to your wisdom. Blessed be the Lord your God, whom it has pleased 
to place you on the throne of Israel. In his enduring love for Israel, the Lord has made you king to carry out judgment and justice. Then she gave the king 120 gold talents, a very large quantity of spices and precious stones. Never again did anyone bring such an abundance of spices as the queen of Sheba gave to King Solomon. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The mouth of the just murmurs wisdom. The mouth of the just murmurs wisdom. Commit to the Lord your way. Trust in Him, and He will act. He will make justice dawn for you like the light. Bright as a Monday, noonday shall be your vindication. The mouth of the just murmurs wisdom. The mouth of the just man tells of wisdom, and his tongue utters what is right. The law of his God is in his heart, and his steps do not falter. The mouth of the just murmurs wisdom. The salvation of the just is from the Lord. He is their refuge in time of distress, and the Lord helps them and delivers them. He delivers them from the wicked and saves them because they take refuge in him. The mouth of the just murmurs wisdom. Let's all stand. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus summoned the crowd again and said to them, Hear me, all of you, and understand. Nothing that enters one from outside can defile the person, but the things that come out from within are that what defiles. When he got home, away from the crowd, his disciples questioned him about the parable. He said to them, Are even you likewise without understanding? Do you not realize that everything that goes into a person from outside cannot defile, since it enters not the heart but the stomach and passes out into the latrine? But what comes out of the man, what is that is what defiles him. From within that man, from his heart, come evil thoughts, unchastity, theft, murder, adultery, greed, malice, and deceit, licentiousness, envy, blasphemy, arrogance, folly. All these evil comes from within, and they defile. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. May mapagkakataon po kasi pag tayo ay gumagawa ng kasalanan at tayo kunwari ay nabubuko. Bakit? Pag tinatanong tayo, bakit natin itong ginawa? No? May mga nagrarason, ginawa din kasi niya, kaya ginawa ko din. O di naman kaya ay sinabi kasi niya, kaya ginawa ko din. No? So, in that manner, meron pa rin tayong kasalanan. Bakit? Because 
hindi natin ginamit ng wasto ang ating judgment. No? Today's gospel, yan po yung sinasabi sa atin ng ating Panginoon. No? Sa panahon po natin ngayon na very accessible po or very uh, nakikita natin lahat ang pwedeng gawin sa mundo. No? At the same time, lahat ng temptation ay nasa atin ngayon. Nandyan ang temptation with money, nandyan ang temptation to be powerful, nandyan ang temptation with lust, no? Or sexual uh, temptation. Pero at the end of the day, no? Hindi natin pwedeng i-blame ang nasa surrounding natin. Why? Because as Jesus said, hindi yung pumapasok sa atin kung ano ang masama. But kung paano natin i-judge o gamitin ang nakita natin, ang naramdaman natin, o di naman kaya ang meron sa ating kapaligiran. No? So for example po, no? sabi nila, money is the root of all evil. Hindi masama ang pera because money is very useful. Di ba? Because we do it or we, uh, we use it in transaction. No? Pero it becomes sinful when the person is when when you become greedy kapag nagiging sakim ka na ng pera pag nagiging maramot ka na ng pera or kapag nagnanakaw ka na ng pera di ba hindi yung pera ang may kasalanan ikaw na gumagawa ng kasalanan so wala pong kasalanan yung pera ganun din po for example sa cellphone sabi nila, ang cellphone ngayon ay demonyo kasi nandyan na lahat. Makikita mo na lahat. Pero at the end of the day, depende rin sa user. Di ba? Kahit naman meron akong cellphone, kung ginagamit ko ito pang call and text only, di ba? It is useful sa akin. Bakit? Because I use it properly. Pero kung gagamitin mo yung, yung cellphone sa ibang paraan, then the cellphone becomes evil. Pero sino ang gumawa nito? It is the person, not the cellphone, not the gadget. Yan po yung sinasabi sa atin ni Jesus sa ating pong gospel ngayong araw na ito. Tayo pong mga anak ng Diyos ay binigyan ng freedom na tinatawag natin. Ano po yung freedom? Freedom to choose what is good. Sabi nga po sa atin, di ba? We have the right to choose, no? Pero sometimes we do or we do not use properly this wisdom, no? Ang pinipili natin ay kasamaan. That's why you sinabi ng Jesus, nothing that comes from the outside o pumapasok sa atin ang masama. What comes out of the person? So ngayon, ang question sa atin ay, ano ang nasa puso mo? Ano ang nasa isip mo? Because that will show, be shown in our action and what we say. No? Kung ano ang nasa isip natin at kung ano ang nasa puso natin, lumalabas yan sa ating pong pakikitungo sa iba. So kung parating masama ang naiisip mo, maraming beses, masama rin ang bunganga mo, masama ang lumalabas sa bunganga mo, then There are also times na masama rin ng ating actions. So sabi sa atin ni Jesus, Purify your thoughts. Linisin ang iyong isip. Purify your hearts. Linisin ang iyong puso. So that you can do good actions. Sabi sa atin po ni Jesus. So again, today Jesus reminds us, huwag natin isisi ang ating mga kasalanan sa mga bagay-bagay sa mundo. But instead, Let us always choose to use our freedom wisely. And to use our freedom means to choose what is good. Amen. Please all stand.
For Christians, there is no higher law than the law of love. Let us pray for fidelity to his law or to this law and sincerity in our practice of religion. In every petition we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church may always be renewed and be purified by the words of Christ's gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may bring hope to the despairing more through our loving actions than through pious words. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. That our hearts may be filled with the honest desire to live for one another so that we may worship in spirit and in truth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That the sick and the dying may be comforted by the Father of all love and mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That our deceased brothers and sisters may join in the true worship in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, purify our hearts so that we may not lose sight of our goal, that is to love you above all else. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O Lord our God, who once established these created things to sustain us in our frailty, grant, we pray, that they may become for us now the sacrament of eternal life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. Lift him up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift. Since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them that they do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread in giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. <coughs> In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim <clears throat> your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be guided into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Ricardo, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, the mighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor shores forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Our Savior's command informed by divine teaching, we dare to say.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us know over each other the sign of peace. <clears throat> Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Bid me come to thee, 
Let's all stand. Let us pray. O God, who have willed that we be partakers in the one bread and one chalice, grant us, we pray, so to live that made one in Christ, we may joyfully bear fruit for the salvation of the world. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow for the blessing. Graciously enlighten your family, O Lord, we pray, that by holding fast to what is pleasing to you, they may be worthy to accomplish all that is good, through Christ our Lord. Amen. And with the blessing of the Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Maraya Virgen a Piaz, así no me cae lugar, si cae aquí votar, en la pana cagaya, si cae aquí votar, en la pana Please kneel for the prayer before a crucifix. Look down upon me, good and gentle Jesus, while before your face I humbly kneel, and with burning soul pray and beseech you to fix deep in my heart lively sentiments of faith, hope, and charity through contrition for my sins and a firm purpose of amendment. While I contemplate with great love and tender pity your five most precious wounds pondering over them within me, and calling to mind the words that David, your prophet, said of you, my Jesus, they have pierced my hands and feet, they have numbered all my bones. Prayer to Our Lady of Piat. O Virgin Mary, Our Lady of the Visitation of Piat, I have recourse to you today. I do offer this day in praise and thanksgiving for past benefits and in the hope of receiving new blessings which you know we need in life. They know, dearest Mother, to shower upon us all the blessings which we need most for body and soul, particularly. And a special grace to die in God's love through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lady of Piat, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you.